For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem that says determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force right here. So first we need to find the uh, position of the three points that we're going to be working with, which are A, B, and C. So the position of A is 0i minus 2j plus 4k. The position of B is 1.5i minus 3j plus 0k and the position of c um gotta calculate it so has an x component a y and a c the c component is zero c is right at the floor at uh, the x and y plane the x is negative 2 sine of 20 which is negative 0.684 and negative 2 cosine of 20 sorry positive 2 cosine 20 is going towards the positive y axis is equal to 1.88 so this is negative this is positive so it's going to be negative 0.684i plus 1.88j plus 0k so now that you have the um, positions we can start work now we're going to first work with this 20 pound force which goes uh, from A pointing towards B. So the vector A to B can be found by doing the BX minus AX in the I plus the BY minus AY in the J plus the BC minus the AC in the K. So now all you need to find now you need to do is uh, plug the numbers in and you get that this is equal to 1.5i minus 1j minus 4k then you need to find the magnitude of this vector and you do so by doing the square root of the x component plus the y component plus the c component when you plug these numbers in you're gonna get that it's equal to 4.387 then to find the univector AB, this tiny univector over here with a magnitude of 1, you divide the vector by the magnitude. And by dividing these three values by this magnitude right here, you're going to get that the univector is equal to 0.342i minus 0.228j minus 0.912k. Now that we have the univector, we can find um, the Cartesian vector form or this 20 pound force. I'm going to call it force 1 and I'm going to call this one force 2. So the magnitude of F1 is given to me at 20 pounds. So the Cartesian vector form of F1 can be found by multiplying this magnitude by the univector AV. And this comes out to be. 6.48i minus 4.56j minus 18.24k so this is the Cartesian vector form of the first one now we're gonna do the same thing for the second one first we're gonna find this univector right here and to do so first I need to find a to c vector a to c is equal to negative six point eight four in the x point six eight four in the x plus three point eighty eight in the j minus four in the k so this is i j k the magnitude of a c comes out to be 5.614 and to do the magnitude you use this formula that we use for AB. The univector AC you get it by dividing the vector AC by the magnitude and it comes out to be negative 0.122i plus 0.691j minus 0.713k. 
little hat for the univector so we are given the magnitude of f2 at 40 pounds to find the Cartesian vector form of f2 you just multiply the magnitude by the univector ac and comes out to be negative 4.88 i plus 27.64 j minus 28.52 k there's a minus right here we have the Cartesian vector form of the two vectors so let me go work right here have some space the resultant force you just had the two Cartesian vector forms and it comes out to be 1.6i plus 23.08j minus 46.76k then you find the magnitude by using this formula again which is the x y and c component squared and square rooted together which comes out to be 52.2 for the magnitude and then to find the direction angles you do the cosine inverse of the x over the magnitude cosine inverse of the y over the magnitude and cosine inverse of the c over the magnitude so you divide each of these values by the magnitude to, and do the cosine numbers to get the angle and you get it's 88.24 degrees uh, sorry 63.76 degrees and 153.6 degrees So final answer for the angle, final answer for the magnitude of the resultant force, Cartesian vector form of the resultant force, Cartesian vector form of F2, Cartesian vector form of F1. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.